small topic is kishina yangu kidoko ni my weight sauti yangu haleluya amen my weight not my voice my weight neno langu msemo msemo yangu haleluya amen say my weight sema msemo yangu the weight msemo according to what i know kufuatana na vile ninachua The word is a seed. Musemo ni mbeko. Hallelujah. Amen. Word is a seed. Musemo ni mbeko. Because of the word. Juu ya musemo. You can live. Unaweza kuishi. Because of the word. Juu ya musemo. You can die. Unaweza kufa. Word. Musemo is a seed. Ni mbeko. Say word is a seed. Sema musemo ni mbeko. My weight. This is my topic. I'm reading the book of Proverbs. This book of Proverbs. Chapter number 18. Chapter number 18. And verse 21. This book it is King Solomon. Who wrote it? This King Solomon. Was the 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 wise king arikuyaka mfalme wa hekima into the world mudunia there was not again another king akukweke tena mfalme mwingine who was as much as was as him ula arikuyaka wa yulu sa yeye in wisdom muakiri no he was alone pana arikuwa ka ye moya mfalme solomon this king uyu mfalme this wisdom he found in it aripata to the lord kwa mungu when he asked god he said father give me the wisdom to lead the people kuongoza bantu because to lead the people kuongoza bantu you must have wisdom unapasha kuya na akiri hallelujah you must have wisdom unapasha kuya na akiri Because people are as you. Hallelujah. Amen. Now to lead the person who is as you. You must have wisdom. That they are calling wisdom. Wisdom is what is putting difference between human beings. When wisdom is new, what means God is together with you. Hallelujah. Amen. To lead the people, you must have God in you. What they are calling wisdom. This king, because of God who were in him, is that to say what? The tongue has got all kind of powers. And all authorities na mamlaka yote of everything ya kila kitu belongs to the tongue ni ya ulimi The authority of money mamlaka ya makuta is at the tongue inekalaka palurimi And he has gone into the another book na alienda katika kitabu kingine into Proverbs chapter number 6 Mu Proverbs chapter number 6 Where you are spoken Mola alisemaka You my child Mweye batoto yangu You was now it Banesha kukuteka and you are entrapped kukubamba by the word of your tongue you are not progressing it is because of the word of your tongue the word of your tongue is not correct what is the correct muzuri ni nini When you are living into this world you must have this custom to say good morning to myself when i rose up into my bed my tongue must appreciate my day When your tongue is appreciating your day your day will have the power to become yours your words your words sometimes is standing and become your reality 
What you are speaking is what you will be tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. What you are speaking kile uko na sema is what you will become tomorrow. Your words usemo wako become your reality. Inakuya reality. Say to your neighbor your words usemo wako musemo yako become your yako. Become your, your reality. Inakuya reality. If you say no kama nasema hapana I can die. It is true you will die. Ni kweli utakufa. I am remembering one day There was one president of Tanzania who were talking one day you will remember me but not by the bad thing but at the good thing and it is true today we are remembering him because of what his words has become his reality what you are speaking is what you will become because to have money it belongs to the tongue To have a nice business it is at the power of the tongue to have a nice wife it is to have a nice tongue to have a nice husband it is to have a nice tongue if your tongue is not nice Toward the person who is living together with you. You will see. You will become as your way is. Say ah. Say, ah. My weight. My elders, your weights. We become your reality. Even you the church. Your weights. We become your reality. Now. You must know how to correct your weights. Because what I know the life is moving to the direction of the weights. A nice life is following in the direction of the winds. What you are speaking is what you will become. I can remember one day Goliath Goliath had defeated Israel. Israel. Now David came and I want to go to face against him. To face when he was going there before him lifting up King Saul had speaking something to him and said no you won't succeed. David said no I I will succeed. I will succeed. They tell him this. That man whom you are seeing is a nice friend. He has fought a lot. And you you've never. And they will say, and me too. And me too. I am a strong man. I have fought a lot. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are going to the war, you are facing difficulties. You are facing difficulties to your front. Huh? When you are facing difficulties you must have a nice tongue you must prophesy your future your words is prophesying your future David said no and I too as long as I'm facing this goal I have I am trained I will fight When David has gone before Goliath, Goliath starts to speak and insulting him. And David said, No, you, you came to me with javelin, with javelins, and you are coming to me with all kinds of weapons. But I, I come to you with the God Almighty. And today, I will defeat you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. His words become his reality. Today, I will defeat you. And God, I have loved this. But he didn't know that this word will become the reality. Wherever you are, my sister, wherever you are, my elder, wherever you are, every person, you must know how to arrange 
your words. Every morning, you lift up at the bed. You say, Happy day to me. Happy day to me. This Wednesday, this Wednesday is a nice day. Early morning, you say good morning to me. Even if people are not greeting you, greet yourself. Good morning to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you say good morning to me, direct your day, change, and become according to what you are declaring. You are not declaring good things to your life. You are declaring good things to your life. You want to have good things. The word is a seed. Hallelujah. Amen. Word is seed. Musemo ni mbeko. You are in need of apple. You must plant the seed of apple. So that you expect to, to reap apples. Now, if you are not planting the apple seed, but you are expecting to reap apple, you won't have it. Now, as Christians, we are planting by the weeds. When I am speaking, if you speak nice thing to my life, I will expect to reap nice thing into my future. Your word is prophesying your future. We shall go to the prayer wherever we are. Every person, you stand up, you start to pray, you say, Father, it is true, my word is prophesying my future. Train me to direct my word so that I know what I can do into the future. When you are praying, all your words can help you. All your words can assist you. If your word today, you don't pronounce it okay, you will suffer again. Go to the prayer wherever you are, you are praying and you are sleeping. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I know who you are.